Here's a few examples from the classwork. We need to label things with the same variable. It doesn't matter which shape you use, but you have to be consistent throughout your problem. So I'm gonna use the red rectangles um, around the hamburgers. That just reminds me of ketchup. I'm going to choose to use the yellow squiggles to represent the fries. And I'll do this cheesy orange color for the cheeseburgers. So whatever shape you choose, you just have to make sure you put it around um, each matching term. Okay, then as I put them around, I'm gonna make sure I include if it says plus or minus. All right, then I'm gonna look at each shape or each type of label and add everything up. So I'm going to start with my cheeseburgers first because I want my answer to be in alphabetical order. So I have three cheeseburgers plus two cheeseburgers, which is five cheeseburgers, plus two more, which is seven cheeseburgers. Let's see. Next in the alphabet would be F. So I'm going to look at my fries. I have three fries plus a fries, which is one more. So that's four. So four fries all together. And then hamburgers, I have four hamburgers plus another hamburger, which is one more, for a total of five hamburgers. This is my final answer. I don't want to add them together because then I don't know how many of which food item to prepare. Let's try another. I'm gonna skip down to number three because I see subtraction in this one. All right, so I'm gonna label the fries with these. I might use something different for the other ones, but my brain really likes the yellow one for the fries. Maybe this time I'm gonna use this symbol for the hamburger. And when I place it, I have to make sure I include the sign or the operation that goes with it. All right, so let's combine everything. So I'm gonna look at my cheeseburgers first. I have six cheeseburgers plus five more cheeseburgers. That's 11 cheeseburgers. And then I'm gonna look for my fries next. I have four plus two, which is six, minus one. So if there's no number in front, it's like a one. So five fries all together. Hamburgers. We have six hamburgers minus two hamburgers. So that's a total of six hamburgers. And then just three sodas. There's nothing to combine that with. There's our final answer. Then some of them we have to practice the distributive property. The number in front represents how many tables we have. So we're gonna have three tables. And everyone at these tables is getting the same food. It's kind of like there's a party. Each table is going to have all of this stuff, a hamburger and two fries and a soda. So we'll just double check our picture. We have three tables or three groups and every group or every table has a hamburger, two fries and a soda. Let's count up what we have in all. I'm gonna start with the cheeseburgers because that's first in the alphabet. Oh, there are none, so I don't have to write anything. Then for the fries, we have two, four, six. So six fries. And then for my hamburgers, I have one, two, three. And for my sodas, I have one, two, three. And that is our final answer.